Hi, I'm Cindy Gay from the Metis Group. It's March 2020. We're being faced with all of the craziness and uncertainty of the coronavirus or COVID-19. We're struggling just to keep our balance in these very uncertain, if not tumultuous times. A friend said yesterday that it seems like every day is like a week. There's so much that's happening in just one day and we're forced to pivot constantly around everything that's coming at us just so fast. And that's true. It feels like just when we think we've made a decision, everything changes and we, we have to throw out what we came up with yesterday and, and start a different tact. As business owners, uh, we never envisioned a time like this. Certainly when we started our businesses and we had all these dreams of the future, we never envisioned a time when we'd have to consider salary reductions or worse, staff reductions. And yet, that's exactly what we're faced with now. Some of us want to ignore that, want to pretend like it's not going to happen, maybe put our heads in the sand. But when we force our minds to go there, we really have to give some consideration. Some of the initial thoughts may be a little easy. We know the handful of people we have to keep on staff. They're our musts. They're the ones who are going to propel us forward, help us figure out ways out of this. And if we really admit it, there's probably some we should have already cut loose, and those are some easy decisions to make. But what if it goes beyond that? What if we have to cut into that middle group who we've never dreamed of letting go of, who've always been with us, who've done a lot of good work? Then what do we have to do? How do we evaluate which of those folks really are going to be the next ones to go? As business owners, these are the things that wake us up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat. These are the things that make us nauseous where we can't have an appetite for anything. The situation is unclear. We do know that some cuts need to be made and some expenses are easy to cut, others are more difficult, but when it comes to the staff reductions, the first pass seems pretty clear. After that, it gets a little bit more difficult. Having a systematic approach really helps. But we need to think about things differently than just having a one size fits all. Too many times there are business thought leaders who say, here is the criteria, apply this to your team and you'll be fine. That doesn't necessarily make us feel any better because people don't understand our culture. They don't understand how we measure success as business owners. So you need a systematic approach that can minimize some personal biases, but that can be fair and aligns the talent with the organizational future needs, not just the short-term needs, but we're gonna get through this. Those of us who are entrepreneurs know that there's opportunity ahead. There's opportunities for us to, to get through this and to emerge on the other side better. So who are going to be those employees we need, we need on our island with us to get us through this and to help us emerge on the other side even stronger? It's when we can figure out that piece that gives us the peace of mind. But unfortunately, a lot of times we're perplexed as to what makes for a great employee or not, what makes for the ones that we really should be holding on to or those that we can part ways with at least on a short-term basis. Staff reductions are difficult because it's an emotional choice. None of us expected this when we started our business. As I said, this wasn't part of the dream. We feel like we're letting down the team. As CEOs, we feel somehow cold-hearted. We are worried sick about our, our work family. We, however, have the tough responsibility. This is not something we can delegate. It's not just enough to be a leader in the good times and a leader in the growth times, but being a true leader is sucking it up and trying to figure out what to do when the times are rough and how to emerge on the other end, how to make sure you have enough money at the end to reopen or re-emerge and not just you know, keep everybody on staff the whole time until the money runs out, just short of the turnaround that we know is coming. So how do you know you need a tool? Well, it's probably because you come to face the reality that you do need to downsize multiple employees and you're looking for a fair way to do it. If you are crystal clear on what to do, then you probably don't need a tool. 
But if you're a little perplexed and not sure how to go about it, then this is something that you really need to pursue is looking for a tool that will allow you to do it in a fair way that gives you a little bit of peace of mind. You know, after you go through the particular tool, you should have a clearer picture of, of the next steps. In our case, we have a proven four quadrant model talent analyzer. It allows you based on criteria of culture fit, as well as the criteria of what success looks like in a job to figure out who your keepers are. Again, those are probably the ones you've already figured out. Um, who your high potentials are, your questionables, and where there are clearly opportunities to um, free up some of that um, staff uh, situation that you need. A lot of times people get caught between the high potentials and the questionables and they make some of those short term decisions that can help me right now, but in the long to run really cost us. And maybe it's those high potentials that we really need to keep until you go through the tool. You really won't know, but you will have an actionable staffing plan and feel like you're a little less out of control than you do now. Where to start is hard, um, but you need to identify those employees who really need to be considered. Again, you know the ones you have to keep, you know the ones who, yeah, probably should have parted ways with them already. Um, and so the rest of them are the ones that you really need to consider. Then we'll walk you through how to identify your key culture characteristics, how to really identify what success looks like in a job from a metrics perspective and help you with a talent review. It's still hard to part ways with folks, and we don't expect to do this for the long term. We expect that those are folks that we're hearing words like layoff or furlough, something that's somewhat temporary. Um, but we also feel badly for those employees we're letting go. We're worried about them. We want them to land on their feet. We want them to be able to take care of their, in their families. So if that means they, we can position them to seek employment for those employers who really are in a good position and can still be hiring in this crisis. Um, if it can help them make ends meet with some part-time work, that would be great. So maybe then finding a partner who can help you with some outplacement to help these folks land on their feet is an expense that's worthwhile so that they can be um, successful and that they can take care of their families as, as they're worried. So what to look for in that outplacement partner? There really needs to be a proven process for evaluating employees, not just from a behavior perspective, are they an introvert or an extrovert, but what gives people gratification in their work? What gives them satisfaction? Yeah, they're willing to do anything right now to put food on the table, but wouldn't it be wonderful if it's something that can make them feel like they're rewarded as well or that they can really excel at? Um, we don't want to think about our employees not coming back but it's worse to, to worry about them and feel that they're not landing on their feet. You want a firm that's got some history in outplacement, that has experience with helping people from the professional levels and the leadership levels all the way through the unskilled. Oftentimes it's those unskilled workers who just don't know where to turn or how to present themselves to a new employer, especially if they've worked with, for you for so long, they just don't know how to position it or the leaders who've been with you for a really long time who can't fathom the idea of a virtual uh, interview. How do we help those folks? And how do we still help them position themselves for a job that isn't the one they've done for the last 10 years? And you need a partner who has some expert leadership facilitation as well as that one-on-one -on -one coaching who can help these people because their needs are individual, they're separate, they're different from everybody else's, and, and there needs to be some things that are tailored directly to them. Of course, at the Metis Group, you know, we've been around now for over 24 years. We've seen some of crisis go, come and go. We've gotten through a lot of that with you. And in many cases, we've helped each other. We've been behavior experts at work founding in Detroit Metro, Michigan, and has started here 24 years ago, expanded into the Charlotte, North Carolina area about 13 years ago. So we have about 40% of our clients in the Carolinas, about 20% in the Midwest, and the rest is all over North America. We've done over 150 of these talent analyzers. Um, we've helped over 200 employee outplacements. And of course, we've worked with over 10,000 candidates who are being evaluated for new roles and defined over 2,000 jobs. So we're well positioned to help understand what to do in the growth mode as well in these crisis modes and to help 
you, our colleagues, our friends, our clients, figure out how to manage these next steps. If it's not us, we understand. Make sure you have someone who's a partner who can help you with a process and help you figure out what to do to allow you to deal with some of your staff reductions in a way that allows people to leave with grace and dignity and to land on their feet for the best chance of success moving forward. It's our hope that this is very short term and that we'll be talking growth with you in um, just a little while. In the meantime, please know that we're here just to listen if that's what you need, to help you if that's what you need, um, and to certainly be by your side as we all look for ways forward and ways to help each other. Good luck with the difficult decisions you have to make and best wishes for a very quick turnaround and much success in the future.